Hi guys, Barnaby for Spurs on this. My match review after Spurs drew one all against Fiorentina in the first leg of the last 32 Europa League game here in Fiorentina. Now Florence is a beautiful city. Got to see it last night, got to see it today. And today it was less of a beautiful game out there. I'd say in the first half, Spurs played really well. It was a kind of half and half team. Uh, Alda Viral played, Ericsson played, but there was no Kane and uh, he, he rotated the fullbacks as he does. No Dembele, no Dyer in midfield. So Tom Carroll and Ryan, play and Ryan Mason played centre midfield. And for the first 45 minutes, we were absolutely outstanding. I can only think of a couple of kind of half decent, half chances that Fiorentina had. We scored the goal from the penalty. NASA Chadley took it. Seemed to be, from where I was looking, although it was miles away, seemed to be a little bit of a scrap over who would take that penalty with Harry Kane not, not on the pitch. But to me, that shows uh, confidence and breeds confidence amongst the side because I would have fancied Ericsson to score that penalty. NASA Chadley slotted it home well. That also bodes well. Let's face it, we're going to go on a run in these cups. We may have to play a penalty shootout at some time. And let's face it, over the years, Spurs have always pretty much lost penalty shootouts. Now I can actually think of maybe five or six players who have the technique and the confidence to, to probably do as well in that. Obviously you can call me out on that if it bites me on the arse and we lose one later on anyway. Um, but I want to talk a bit about um, Kevin Vimmer first. I thought he was outstanding again. He's I'm just a quality player. I love the way he doesn't panic. If he's got the chance, he'll bring the ball down, just lay it off one touch. Doesn't try anything too difficult. But if there's a crossfield pass on, he can do that as well. I feel like Toby Alderweireld has really brought the best out of both uh, Jan Vertonghen and Kevin Vimmer this season. He is the rock uh, on which our success is built. He was outstanding again today as well. Fullbacks played well. Trippier got down the wing really well. And ben Davis was fantastic first half, won the penalty for us. Uh, so props to him. He's played really well. I really love how our fullbacks interchange at the moment. I don't feel like there's one fullback miles uh, head and shoulders above the other. So uh, I always feel confident whoever plays. Um, Mason, fantastic considering he, uh, he's been injured for so long. You know what you're going to get with Ryan Mason, you know? Easy passes, puts his foot in, work rate. Uh, nice little footballer, can totally see why Roy Hodgson would have him around his England squad. Whether he'll make it to the Euros, I guess will depend on his game time, whether he gets injured again. Helicopter above me, obviously the police have heard what we got up to last night. I better keep that quiet from uh, here on in though. Uh, towards the front, Chadley played up front today. He's obviously not a striker. I think Pochettino tries to say in the press conferences that it's okay, we've got Son and Chadley who can play up front. He's not a natural striker. He doesn't run the channels as Harry Kane does. He doesn't hold it up as well, but he did fine. And like I said, he scored the goal. Son was a bit quiet. I want to talk about Deli Alley. I know I always do. I said I thought he was man of the match against City on Sunday. People called me out on it because uh, Dembele was man of the match on Sky. But I just love the confidence with which this boy plays. He, I think I saw two or three nutmegs, a couple of Cruyff turns. He lulls defenders in to then try and take the piss out of them. And it's just a joy, I mean, it's just a joy to have a Spurs player with that much confidence. And he kept making chances. He kept driving at the defence. Bit of a worry, picked up a knock. Hopefully that's nothing too serious. I don't mind if we rest him against Palace on Sunday if, if he's got a little bit of a knock. But honestly, what a fantastic footballer. What a signing. £5 million. Go back to Alderweireld, £12 million. Some of the purchases we've made, just absolutely brilliant. In terms of this game, let's not forget we drew one all with Fiorentina in the first leg last year. That was at home, though, so the advantage is more on us. I would fancy us to turn them over at home, but it won't be as easy as maybe some people think. We're going to have to work hard in that game as well. Be interesting to see which team he uh, he picks for that one. Anyway, to conclude it off, uh, a great result. Everyone here, uh, loads of Spurs fans here, and the atmosphere is absolutely tremendous. Everyone goes home happy, or at least goes into Florence Town Centre happy. Uh, one all. Take it back to YR Lane next week. Pretty sure we'll turn them over. Let us know what you thought of the comments. Uh, sorry, let me know what you thought of my uh, match review in the comment section below and what you thought of the game. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter at TV. Come on, you Spurs.